was really fixated on having to come here because I, I think, especially now, this kind of audience is the most loyal and passionate audience as well, especially for movies. They're kind of keeping the movies alive. So I really want, you know, I'd love it if it's embraced by it. That's kind of the best reaction. I think we just beat. I think we just beat. Yeah. The fact that it was 750 seats sold out, you know, it's pretty heady when something like that happens and, and very satisfying. It was fantastic. This, this is the best crowd in the world. It's really exciting to watch it and to participate in it as well. The crowd's great. These people love these movies, you know, and it's a, it's a, it's a one of the major festivals in the world. What a fucking reception, man. I, I was sitting there going like, you're not going to cry, and I fucking welled up. Good response tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the best fucking film festival I've ever been to in my life. I want to thank uh, Fantasia for this Fantastic award, the Wild Canadian Pegasus. This is the most exciting screening of this movie that I've ever been to. It's filled with the brave and the real filmmakers. It's a really coming on festival. You're getting to be one of the real recognized festivals. Festivals like Fantasia are incredibly important because it's the perfect ecosystem in which to present your movie because you're going to the core of what you do. Variety, The Hollywood Reporter, Screen, IndieWire, The Daily Beast et quelques autres publications renommées ont toutes délégué des journalistes à Montréal. Aucun autre festival de cinéma montréalais ne peut en dire autant. People got everything. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Just such a great audience. And they so much love seeing the film. This is by far the best crowd we've had. They laughed. They on cue. They did, uh, responded to pretty much everything. It was amazing. That was insane. That was cool. That screening was honestly one of the craziest screenings I've ever been into. The Q&As here have been the best Q&As I could have ever imagined. The questions are so engaged, so intelligent, so just on point. It's been the, and fun, and fun. Like the audiences here are so fun. In a lot of ways, I feel like my feature career started here in 2011. I'm thrilled to be back here. It's one of the best audiences in the world. Watching this audience, like, oh my God, can we take this audience back to Israel with us? We're not expecting a full 800 seat theater. I thought uh, there was only like that, just the very front of the building amount of people. I was like, Jesus, there's only like 45 people here. Oh no. And then we turned the corner and it was all the way down the block as far as I could see. It's so rewarding to show up for your screening and see a big queue like all the way around the block. The audience just has an energy here that's pretty unique, I think. It's a community of people that love the art of it and they're excited. I have nothing to compare it to because it's different because. You know, a lot of film festivals, the audiences are jaded, but here people just really love movies. The fact that we're at Fantasia makes my heart melt. Like, it's so exciting. The audience is smart. Uh, they like things that are different, that are unique. These are films that other festivals, even other genre festivals, would not give a chance to. Our film school was Fantasia. This is where we learn a different style of cinema. We learn about amazing directors that we would have known. Fantasia opens us up to a whole world of different. They also bring in movies from all over the world, which allows us to cross-pollinate and meet new filmmakers and understand what's going on in the world. Il y a dans ce dans cette sélection des films très délicats que ça m'a beaucoup surpris et j'ai beaucoup aimé cette idée qu'on commence à mélanger les pinceaux. This was the perfect festival to play. Uh, we're, we're very lucky that like we were able to premiere here. Matt is the coolest festival. <laughs>